Once you have the Polar Cloud account created, you'll need to connect to the printer that is available to you or printers if your school has more than one. So every printer that your school has, you'll need to add to it. I'm going to go ahead and click on the printers button. Okay, and I need to add a printer, so that's right here. And I choose the printer make, and this is a Polar 3D. And then it's gonna ask for the serial number, which is on the back of the 3D printer. So I'll go ahead and show you where that is uh, on the back of this 3D printer. It's right there on the label. And so I'm gonna punch in that number. And that is I'm going to hit find printer. Then here's what's going to happen. It's going to show up like this, where it's going to have multiple colors. So here on my screen, it says top color, middle color, and bottom color. This is what it's talking about. So I click on these down arrows here like this. And it looks like that top one, uh, sometimes it's hard to tell. Um, I don't know if that's pink. I don't think it's pink because the pink is usually more purple. So I'm going to kind of be guessing here. I'm going to guess that that might be yellow. Let's guess that. So if you get it wrong the first time, that's okay. You could try it again. Middle's blue. And then we will do the bottom one as orange. And we'll see if that's right. You scroll down. Or actually, you go up and you hit save. And if it is correct, oh, it says verification failed. Let's try it again. And let's see if it'll do it again for me. Oh, gave me some new colors. So if you fail it the first time, you try it again, it'll give you some new colors and you can try it again. So the middle this time, oh, it's that color. That I don't know what it is. Uh, I'm gonna guess pink this time. And then we'll go with blue. Sometimes the colors are hard to figure out. Hit save. It says it failed again. So it's gonna give me a new set of colors here. There, that's better. I can read those. That is definitely blue, red, and yellow. I can get that one. So let's go with blue, red, and yellow. That's much better. And we'll see if it works this time. There we go. And so once it works correctly, then your Polar 3D will go back to blue and white. It'll say loading and now you are officially loaded and you can start using this 3D printer. You want to make sure that you save it here. And when you are ready to print something, and the fantastic thing is that anytime you want to see if it's in use, you can go straight to your printer, see if it's in use. If you want to click on the guy, it'll give you a live view so you can see whether or not it's being used. And you can start a print whenever you are ready. So right now, it's not even being used. So if I wanted to print something, I'd be ready to go. In fact, you can kind of see me there. There's a little bit of a delay. So this is great. Like if you want to print something, uh, let's say it's plugged in at at school, ready to go, and you're at home and you remember, hey, my student turned something in, I need to print something. So you may create uh, the STL file, upload it with the objects button and start printing. And you can print while you are at home. There I am. And it'll print and it'll be done by the time you get there in the morning. So little fun fact that you can do while you are setting up your printer is that you can see it right there and use it at any time.